OK, so in the first video, we looked at recording the output of Logic, our voiceover microphone, into Source Connect uh, in mono. And in this video, we're going to look at recording the output of Source Connect and bringing that via Source Connect link into Logic. Um, so we're going to actually work in stereo for this example. In the first video, we worked in mono. In this one, we're going to work in stereo. So I'm going to make sure that I've got Source Connect uh, configured for stereo, which I have. And I'm going to come to our Source Connect plugin here on this channel strip. And this channel strip is actually in mono. You can see the channel mode button at the top here is a, a single circle mono. I want to work in stereo, so I'm going to click that and change that to stereo. And you'll see now that the Source Connect plugin has got a line down the middle of the meter here. So we've got a left and right channel, so we're in stereo. So we need to get the audio from the Source Connect output into Logic. So again, we're going to use Source Connect link and we're going to use the same one, plugin ID number one. Now, because I've changed this uh, Source Connect link into a stereo version, it will have reset the input. So I'm going to put the input back to where it was, which was link number one. And we're going to do the same for the output so we can record it into Logic. So output link one. And now we've got a meter for the output on Source Connect link. And when we connect, we'll get the audio from Source Connect. We'll go into Source Connect link here. And now we're going to route that audio to a new track in Logic. We're going to come to our auxiliary here, auxiliary one, and we're going to bus this out. This is the one with the Source Connect plugin on it. We're going to bus this out to bus two. OK. And I'm going to put the send to Unity. And in our tracks area, I'm now going to create a new track, new audio track, and I'm going to have as the input bus number two, create. And I can record enable that. OK. So now on the mixer, because we've created another bus, it's um, created a new auxiliary two, which we don't actually need. And just to keep things simple to look at, I'm just going to come to that auxiliary 2 in the mixer and I'm going to take that strip out. And there's a little warning about doing that. I'm just going to delete that. Now, auxiliary 1 here, which has the Source Connect plugin, the output of that Source Connect link is being bussed out on 2 and it's going to be picked up by this audio track that we've got in the tracks area, which has as its input bus 2. And for that reason, we don't actually need to feed the output of this auxiliary anywhere. So on the output of the auxiliary one, we're just going to change that to no output. So the output of the Source Connect link is just going to go to bus two. And that's being picked up in the tracks area on this track here called audio one. Here. And that's all there is to it. So to feed the level of auxiliary one to our new track, we can just use this fader if we want to adjust it. That will adjust the level of the audio that's recorded. I'm just going to leave it at Unity for now. And as far as monitoring is concerned, we'll just use the track fader just to adjust the level so it's comfortable. I'm just going to keep it right down because when we connect to the test server, it's just going to be um, repeating what I say. OK, so back to Source Connect. We've got our input and output to link one. And we're going to use the stereo test and we're going to connect. And we're now connected. And, we're now connected. and you can hear the audio coming back. If I put it into record, then we're recording on track one is my microphone, just that microphone. Just that microphone. And then the track underneath, audio one, audio one. Is, is, recording is, is recording the audio from our remote studio, the output of Source Connect. The output of Source Connect. So we can just see that there. See that there. Coming from the receive of Source Connect into Source Connect link, and we are routing that into Audio 1 to record. Just disconnect. And now that's what we recorded. So this track here is recording in stereo. And we've got a stereo recording of what we received from the remote studio. Coming from the receive of Source Connect into Source Connect link. And we there we go. 
and the top track just recorded the microphone clean. Now I've um, saved this as a template and just to make it quick and easy to set up. Um, and if you'd like to download the templates, I've got one in stereo and one in mono on my website, uh, free to download, the details of which are in the description below the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Cheers for now.